Hello and welcome to another video tutorial brought to you by Octotouch.com. Today we're going to be making an outer space design featuring one of my favorite musicians, Kid Cudi. And this is what the final design is going to look like. As you can see, we have an image of Kid Cudi performing in concert, and we have this really cool and colorful outer space theme going on. And this image was, or this design was made from this image. So here's the before, and here's the after. So as usual, I have a folder with everything that you need to make this design. And I made this folder so you guys could download it and it'll make things simpler for you guys. So the link to download this folder will be in the video description below. In this folder, we have the original image of Kid Cudi performing in concert. I also included the final PSD so you can see exactly what I did to make the design. I included the final JPEG image so you guys could show it off. And I included the crescent moon and three Kid Cudi's used in the image and then finally the sunburst brush used in the image. And I gathered these from a couple different websites, so I'll read them off to you really quick. Uh, I took the image of Kid Cudi performing in concert from RobbieWells.com. I took these three PSDs from OfficialPSDs.com. I took the Crescent Moon image from 4.bp.blogspot.com. And I took the sunburst brush from CreativeLiberties.DeviantArt.com. The links to all these websites will be in the video description below. So with all of that out of the way, let's get started with the actual design. So go ahead and open up the original image of Kid Cudi performing in concert, and let's get started. The first thing we want to do is make the colorful clouds. That's probably the most important part. So let's get started by making a new layer. So let's click Command Shift N if you're on a Mac, or Control Shift N if you're on Windows, and press OK. And then we're going to go to Filter, Render, Clouds, and bam, just like that we have clouds. So we want to change the blend mode to overlay, and then double click on the clouds and click on gradient overlay because we want to make them colorful. So again, let's change the blend mode to overlay for the gradient, and then click on the gradient image, and we want to add this dark spectrum gradient. Pretty much every version of Photoshop comes pre-installed with this gradient. To open it up, just click on this arrow on the right side and click on Spectrums and it should open it up and just click on the dark gradient or the dark spectrum and press OK. Next, we want to change our angle to 130% and the scale to 66% and press OK. So before we move any further, we want to choose our eraser tool with a soft brush with a size of about maybe 45 or 50 pixels and we want to make sure the opacity is around 30 or 35 percent and we want to just go around and erase um, the gradient from Kid Cudi. We, want, we don't want to completely erase it because then it'll look too bland and normal but we want to make him stand out a little bit more. So after that's done let's make another new layer. Let's choose the brush tool with the color black and a fairly large soft brush and pretty much just go around and make it circle in and focus in on Kid Cudi. So you want to pretty much do something like this. Alright, so now that we're done with that, the next thing we want to do is make the stars. So let's make another new layer. Let's choose the paint bucket tool with the color black and just fill that in with black. And then we want to change the blend mode of that to screen. This will look like we did nothing, but that's what we're supposed to do. So next, go to filter, click on or hover over noise and click on add noise. We want the amount to be 10% and the distribution to be Gaussian and monochromatic to be checked and press OK. And then let's go to image adjustments and click on levels. We want the first number, which is 0, to be 65, and the third number, which is 255 to 99, and press OK. Just like that, we have stars. Now what we want to do is choose the eraser tool with a soft brush with the opacity of 100%, and let's make this fairly big, and just go around and erase the stars wherever there is a black area. So we want to erase the stars from the crowd, like so. We want to erase the stars from the black outline that we did. And then finally, you'll want to erase the stars from Kid Cudi. And I'll do that shortly. So let's make the brush a little bit smaller and erase the stars from off of Kid Cudi. 
So there you go. Now we're done with the stars. Now what we want to do is add the moon. So let's click on file open and let's open up that crescent moon. What we want to do is select this tool, um, just the quick selection tool or the magic wand tool would do. And then we want to double click on the background layer and press OK to unlock the background layer and just click. And that should, that should select the black area for you and press delete. And we are good. So let's press Command D or Control D to deselect. Select the pointer tool and just click and drag that into our image. So it should be something like this. Let's press Command T or Control T if you're on Windows. Make this a lot smaller. Even smaller than that. And it should be something like this. We want to position it somewhere in the right hand side. And then we want to choose our a circle tool or the ellipse tool with the color black. And let's make a new layer. Make a circle to fit the to fit the moon. So it should be around that size. Let's move that black circle under the moon. Let's fit it like that. And then let's move the opacity to maybe around 30%. And that looks good so far. So next thing we want to do is add a lens flare. So let's make a new layer. And we'll move this layer on top. Let's choose the paint bucket tool, fill it in with black. And then let's go to filter, render, lens flare. We want our lens flare to be the third option, the 105 millimeter prime, and the brightness to be maybe around 70 or 75%, and press OK. And then we want to change the blend mode to screen. And now we have a really cool looking lens flare. And we want to move this a little more to the top left hand side. So it should look something like this. So next after the lens flare, we want to add white lines next to the lens flare. Let me show you what I'm talking about. In the original image or the original design, we have these white lines over here. So we want to add that. So let's click on the rectangular marquee tool right here, the rectangular um, selection tool, whatever you want to call it, and make a new layer. Let's make a selection something like this. And then we want to change our color to white. Select the brush tool with a soft brush and pretty much just click once. And it should look something like this, maybe twice if you want. And that looks good. So let's press Command D or Control D if you're on Windows to deselect. And then we want to choose the um, selection tool or the move tool to move. And then we want to press Command T or Control T if you're on Windows and pretty much just rotate it to look like this. And then we want to press Command J or Control J if you're on Windows and then Command T or Control T if you're on Windows and rotate it again to look like this. Now what you could do is select the eraser tool and maybe erase the edges a little more so it doesn't look so harsh. And so you can tell that it was a selection. And we'll do that for both of them. So in the end you should have something that looks like that. So next we want to make a sunburst. You won't really be able to tell in the final image. If you look closely, you'll see the sunburst lines, um, but it's a vital part of the image and it makes it look cooler and it makes it bright up. So we're going to select the brush tool and in that folder, I included a sunburst brush set. So go ahead and install those and open it up in Photoshop. You want to choose this sunburst brush, make a new layer and we'll put this below um, pretty much everything but on top of the clouds and then just pretty much click and it should look something like this then what we want to do is bring the opacity down to about three percent and then select the brush tool make it big and soft and then just pretty much erase the edges a little bit and something like that and then we want to erase it from Kid Cudi as well and also the crowd a little bit. So we should end up with something like this. Now we're almost done, we just need to add some text. So let's select the text tool and fairly simple. What I'm going to use is a uh, caviar dreams. That's the text I'm going to use. And I'm going to type in his quote. I smoke to get high. And I believe that's the first line, yes. And then we're going to choose a text tool again. And under that, we're gonna type B 
because the world is so low. So there you go, and then we're going to make these a lot smaller than they are now. And position them somewhere like this. So they should end up looking something like this. And actually what I'm going to do is move the moon a little to the right and a little to the top so it doesn't get in the way of the quote. So we'll move that there, and then the last thing is we need to add the apostrophes around the quote, and then we're going to make these a lot bigger. So like that. And then I'm going to press Command-J or Control-J control if you're on Windows to duplicate it, then Command-T or Control-T if you're on Windows, and I'm going to click Flip Horizontal, or right-click and click Flip Horizontal, and then right-click again and click Flip Vertical. And then I'm going to move that to the other side. So it should end up looking something like this. And then what we could do is lower the opacities of these to something like 75%. Maybe 50 if you want. And then what we'll do is move these a little more so it doesn't get in the way of those white lines. And we'll position them like so. So that looks good. And then finally, let's add the text that says Kit Cuddy. So capital K, lowercase i, and capital D, just like in the final image. And then we have, we'll, oops, we'll keep going and type in, let's keep it on that same, same text layer and type in capital C, lowercase u, capital D, lowercase i. And then we'll make this a lot smaller as well. And we'll position it somewhere like so. And then what we're going to do is duplicate it. So press Control J or Command J. And then what we're going to do is make it a little bigger. We're going to make the duplicated one a little bigger. And this is this goes behind the original Kid Cudi text. And we're going to go to Filter, Blur, Gaussian Blur, and press OK to rasterize it and we're gonna blur it with a radius of about three pixels and press okay. So it should look like this. And now we're almost done. Now we need is, now all we need is the smaller Kid Cuddies. So let's open up these three and then let's just bring these in. Press okay. Let's bring in the second one. And bring in the third one. Okay, so we're going to select all of these and make um, make them around the same size, and we want them fairly small. Okay, and now we're going to position them in a way so that it looks like they're pretty much popping out. Um, one of them goes in the middle, the other one goes on one of the sides, one of the sides, and then the other one goes on the other side. I'm pretty sure you could figure that out. And then what you want to just position them freehand, use the free transform tool, and just make them look like they're popping out more or less. And I'm going to uh, flip this horizontally, and then transform it. So it should look something like this. And then what we're going to do is position these next to the Kid Cudi, or on the top right hand corner of the Kid Cudi, and make them look like this and then just change the opacity of these to about 25%. So in the end, they should look something like that. So that's pretty much it. We are done with this tutorial. This is what we came up with, and this is the final PSD that I did beforehand. So that's it for this video tutorial. Hope you guys enjoyed it. This is Octotoots.com, and until next time, I will see you guys later.